First, let's take a look at proximity. Objects that are a long distance apart on your canvas can lead to really fast transitions. To avoid these big transitions, try placing objects closer together. Objects that are closer mean smoother transitions. Let's take a look at how you can use proximity to create some cool effects. Meet John. He's a pretty ordinary guy about to go on a journey. John hasn't traveled far. We know this because the distance between the path points is quite small. Now, John has a problem. There are sharks in that puddle. Fortunately, John is quite the jumper. We know how far he can jump from the distance between the path points. Here, we can see just how far apart the points are on John's journey. Now, let's take a look at rotation. Rotating in Prezi can be cool, but big rotations can be too much. Enough, I'm dizzy. To avoid this, try small rotations. If you can, keep your rotations under 90 degrees. Let's take a look at how you can use rotation to do some really cool stuff. Remember John? Well, he's still traveling. Only this time, he's going uphill. And now, he's going back down. See how subtle rotation in a Prezi can look great? Last up, let's take a look at scale. Zooming around your canvas is just about the most fun you can have with Prezi. But be careful, don't overdo it. Objects that are just too far away mean too much zooming. Try not to scatter objects all over your canvas. Instead, try to keep your zooming relevant to your content. Logical placement and limited use of zoom is much more effective. Let's take a look at how zooming can be your best friend. Good news! John has finally arrived. Look how happy he is. 
You can't see how happy he is? Let's zoom in to take a better look. Zooming out is a great way to recap. We can also zoom in to reveal things that were hidden before, like John's friends. Zooming out can reveal new information. Let's see how far John has come. Wow, that's quite a journey, John. Nice work.